Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's take a look at imaginary numbers in context with the number line. And yes, there are two number lines. There is the real number line and there's the imaginary number line. We call that the imaginary axis and the real axis. Now all real numbers, rational, irrational, integers, you name it, they're all on the number line. Now all the numbers, except for the irrational numbers, can be placed exactly on the number line. We know exactly where negative 4 is, we know exactly where 2.5 is, we know exactly where 4 and a quarter is, and so forth. However, where do we place the square root of 2? Well, we know, if we grab a calculator, that the square root of 2 is approximately equal to 1.414213562. If we had a better calculator, we can get more digits. But that's not the exact value for the square root of 2. Matter of fact, we cannot find the exact value of the square root of 2. That's why we call it an irrational number. So what we can do is we can define the square root of 2 as being between two rational numbers. We know that the square root of 2 is between 1.414 and 1.415. If you want to be a little bit more accurate, we can say that the square root of 2 is between 1.4142 and 1.4143, or we can say that the square root of 2 is between 1.41421 and 1.41422. And we can just get it more and more accurate. In other words, we can almost pinpoint the exact value of an irrational number by placing it between two numbers that are really, really, really close to the irrational number. So that's how we define all numbers, all real numbers, on the real number line. We don't call it the real number line, we simply call it the number line, but we really mean the real number line or the real axis. So what is an imaginary number? Well, an imaginary number is a number that doesn't exist. For example, i is defined as the square root of negative 1, and there is no such thing as the square root of negative 1. It doesn't really exist. It's an imaginary number. So why do we even bother with imaginary numbers if they don't really exist? Well, it turns out in mathematics and in science, we actually use imaginary numbers quite a bit. So we need to know how to deal with them. And so we have a way of placing them on what we call the imaginary axis, which is, runs perpendicular to the real axis. In other words, if we go one unit away from the origin here, then we realize that's equal to 1i. If we go two units away, that's 2i. Three units away is 3i. Four units away is 4i. And if we go in the negative direction, that's minus i, minus 2i, minus 3i, minus 4i, by moving one unit away, and those units are the exact same size as the units on the real number line. So at least we're able to place the imaginary numbers as multiples of i, or negative multiples of i, in the negative direction. And then we also realize that 1i is the same as i to the fifth. Hmm, because i to the fifth is i to the fourth, which is 1, times i, which is, well, that imaginary number. i squared is the same as negative 1, so i squared is actually on the real number axis because i squared is a real number. i cubed is the same as negative i, so that's over here. The same as i to the seventh, i to the eleventh, i to the fifteenth. All those are equal to negative i, and so therefore they belong at this location on the imaginary axis i to the fourth is a real number because i to the fourth is equal to one that places you back on the real number line so at least you can see that we have another number line called the imaginary number line which is perpendicular to the real number line and there we can place all the imaginary numbers positive in this direction negative in this direction just like the real numbers are positive to the right and negative to the left and the units are the same we have 1i, 2i, 3i, just like I have 1, 2, and 3 on the real number line. And so now at least we can see we can graph imaginary numbers. And now that we know how to graph imaginary numbers, we know how to graph real numbers, we should be able to graph complex numbers. And we'll show you how to do that on the next video.